Alright, so I am playing as Dell. As the engineer. Someone already left the game, so I'm glad that I p decided to pick beginning difficulty. Moving Go ahead and here. bring the fabricator all the way back here. Some people like to bring it uh, to the top middle, which I think is a terrible idea because you get attacked on both sides. But, I don't know. Hey. Just my opinion that it's better back hey. here. Alright, so I'm going to get my barriers up. Probably one of the more important fortifications that you can build. I'm going to just put it down so I can skip it. Alright, I'm going to put my first one right here in the middle. I'm going to upgrade it. The second one as well. Take this guy out. Got that. And we'll smash his head off. Well, I guess pull his head off. Coup de gras. I got that medal because it requires you to do 60 waves of uh, this Halloween board event. We've got 30 seconds to regroup. Which is basically just, uh, what is it, three complete runs, so it's not too bad. Not too hard to uh, get. Alright, for the next one, I'm going to go ahead and just put it down again, let my team advance. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. Back in your pod. Upgrade it again. I may move it because they can come from that side. But it's on beginner, so I don't think it'll be too big of a issue. Your history. Go ahead and grab Ladies another barrier. One. May have put this fabricator too far back, but nice one. oh well. Sometimes if you put it a little too far, like if I were to put it like right here, sometimes you can uh, have enemies spawn behind you, which is a pain. So I'm gonna put this one. Just right, right here. Once this screen goes away, which I hope they the coalition gets rid of. Time to it's kind of annoying. And get ready for round. All right, so I got my three barriers up. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna put this one. Let's see, they can't jump over that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. Barrier deployed. We'll We've got skip. The beginning couple of rounds are not too difficult, especially on beginner. But once you get up to the higher difficulties, yeah, it, it can get pretty tough. But for this video, I'm going to show what's going on. What the mode's all about. So you can see everyone has a pumpkin okay. head. Nice. Yeah, I think a sire already took some. And that was it. So you're getting enemies that have the little pumpkin heads on them. You get some of the regular drones as well as uh, juvies, exploding juvies, buzzkill, scions. And what else is there? Well, I guess we'll just wait and see. I wish. Let's see. This guy has 11,000. This guy has. They're literally just hoarding, no pun intended, all of the uh, energy for themselves. These guys are pain in my butt. But I'm gonna get that frag. Yeah, the sires. Oh, and the sires. The sires are definitely a pain. Oh, he went around. The sires is definitely a pain because they will just snatch you, kind of like in the campaign. They'll just snatch you and drag you and then just rip your heads off. And it's much easier to give them a melee than it is to actually shoot them 
when one of your teammates is going away. So just keep that in mind if you ever come across one. Which you will if you're playing this if you're playing this mode. And the bad thing, of course, is when uh, someone leaves your team, it just makes it that much harder, especially on the higher difficulties. I'm a, pretty sure on the beginner, it's not going to make a big deal, but it's always good to have actual humans playing instead of the AI, because they can make some questionable decisions. Might as well get that uh, ammo. And I put this turret down right here because a lot of the enemies come from the middle. Barriers are really important in this mode because all the enemies that just charge at you. Yeah, I'm gonna go get this. JD's already getting taken by Sire. Head on over. Well, it's got the stump. Okay, they got it. Breaker Mace is pretty OP in this mode as well, just because there's a lot of enemies that, like I said, like to charge you. So if you can stun them with the barriers, or if you're playing as Jack, Good work, you're gonna be all right. This guy is the AI guy is just like following me everywhere. What the heck is going on? All right, so I'm gonna put another barrier on that side where one of those UVs came, so that they can not come from behind me and knock us out. Yep, there you come. Just in case. Good night. Uh-oh. Goodbye. And here's plus the Scion. Oh. Uh-oh. That's what I said. Well, so let's a barrier. Save me. You gotta make sure that you're paying attention to uh, all of the freaking sires because they will the upgrade that. Even I got attacked by him and I'm wearing my headphones instead of going through the TV and I still got caught. All right, no one is depositing any power. Marcus over here at 16,000. Sometimes that does happen during your matches, especially if you're playing as a support character like Dell, or Jack, or, you know, the different characters. But, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Sometimes. You can't really make any good upgrades that your team needs. And I haven't really looked much into the actual stats. Like when I play with other characters, it's like a 10% increase, a 13%. So, I mean, some of the increases are so minimal. It may, it's, I, don't know, I don't even know if it's worth upgrading all, of the, all your stuff to like level 10. Like uh, assault rifle damage or health. But I have, like I said, I haven't looked into those numbers. I'm sure someone else who is like a horde expert would know. But it's just my opinion that I think it's better for the team in general to have more barriers and fortifications and stuff like that. Rather than one player just hogging all the power and not doing much. But... Oh well. All right, so we got this turret up. I don't think I can afford anything right now. Do have my barriers? I don't. No one's really come that way since the on beginner. My teammates are just hanging out on the enemy spawn. So that makes I think uh, the enemies kind of spawn a little bit closer to our base. So I gotta make sure that I'm. Yeah, a little bit from this side. Oop. I will not 
I'll wait to get a little closer. Look out! Forgot they have the uh, I don't know if the exact ice sign. They do have the ice sign on, so make sure you don't get too close. Mulcher. I would make a weapons locker, but like I said, this is on beginner. If you're playing on the higher difficulties, definitely get a weapons locker so you can get some more high-powered stuff. Uh, let's see, decoy. I think I'm just gonna upgrade my decoy. I don't need to get another one yet. Upgrade my turret. A little bit more damage, a little bit more ammo output. Got cryo cannon. Nah, I don't need that. It's up here. Lancer. Nah. Wait to the Zion! Yeah, if you're wondering why I'm using the BB weapons, just because I have the, the card for Dell that reduces the recoil. Makes it a little bit easier to shoot. So, that's why I'm using them. I don't think the Forcer is that bad. Overkill is probably a little bit better. Quarters, but. I don't mind. I got the first of my ability. Take advantage of them. I didn't do anything that round. Not a dang thing. 235 damage done. Nada. Alright, wave 10 boss. Repair my defenses. Uh, may put up another barrier on the left side. Good to go. Just so that I can nice. hold them. Hold them back. Not here, but up at the top no, by the stairs. If I can Good make it on time. Right here. Oh. Uh, I would put it up here, but I think it's too far away for me to get crap and do my ultimate. You're Dead. My little tracker buddies will go out and get him. Yeah, I can see you later. Not a lot of damage. It's long range, of course, there doesn't do the most. Yeah, I forgot I had frag. Yeah, that does. There we go. I didn't kill it, but yeah, it's a little bit of damage. Let's go get this guy. Yeah, it definitely slowed him down with this one. I try and keep my barriers closer, because if they're too far out, then I'm not going to be able to repair them when needed. Alright, so our tap is actually really close, which is nice. But since this is, you know, a quick barrier deployed, then it's not too important for you to get this. Time's up. But it, like, if this was regular horde, obviously the taps are really important because you're always getting extra energy. But with the amount of energy you get, oh, the, with the amount of energy you get darting. Uh, it's not super important to get the taps. And... Because the enemies aren't really powerful. It just depends on what difficulty you're playing on. You can kind of get away with some stuff that you may not be able to on the harder difficulties. Like whatever I'm doing right now would probably never happen. There we go. Now I'm gonna go use the energy tap because I like to get as much energy as possible. Picking up energy. All right, let's rearm and regroup. And build a bunch of stuff. 
I'll take those. So I'm just gonna grab this. May upgrade some of those barriers. Nah, it's not a lot, but let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this one. Got it. Three thousand. Here they come. There we go. Oh. Used quite a bit of energy there, but like I said, twelve thousand for one of my teammates. Six thousand, ten thousand. They're doing all right. Boom, spotted. Got another. Get down, Juby. Get down. Boom, Forgot to activate the there. Yeah, I marked this. You're the wrong way. I wonder how the AI decides to go where it does. I don't think so. It's just like following me around. Yes. It probably just sticks by the um fortifications. Get my ultimate back. Two left. This is basically my strategy in any um, horde mode, whether it's this one or the Terminator one that they had uh, last week. Try not to go too far out because Dell doesn't have any of those uh, upgrades, like increase health or whatever. And I just like to make sure that the base is protected. Especially when the big guys start coming out, that can destroy your fortifications pretty easily. Yeah, that's right. So I just like to have everything ready just in case. Here they come. I'm gonna steal this ammo. Oh, come on, baby. Consider yourself Oh, there's no over here. Yep. Ugh, kick! That was the uh, weakest boring. looking kick of all time, but oh well. Uh oh. Uh, I'm gonna head out just because I got someone. Well, maybe not. not my first rodeo, you know. Made it! Ow. And only one more. So you can see I'm going through these ones pretty quick, but on. Uh, the next difficulty level, intermediate. It's a little bit more challenging, just especially with all the, We've got all the dudes just feet. charging at you. And I haven't tried anything harder than that, but uh, I will and see how it goes. Don't mind if I do. All right, I'm gonna upgrade. Tap, Let's upgrade. see. I could get another turret, probably. Uh, but my team is. Basically, just wiping hey. stuff out down there okay. by itself. I think I'm gonna hold on to it right now. Let's see how this wave right. goes. So you can see I got two teammates Thanks. down here. here which will come. probably force them to spawn. Uh, oh, that's still down there. But yeah, you can see they're too far out. They got attacked. Oh, they're off charger. Come on, turret. There we go. So, your gameplay just, you know, your style just depends on what difficulty you might like to play. Some people like to be a little bit more aggressive, and I tend to just kind of chill. Use the fortifications to my advantage and then no more uh, see he was getting taken away use fortifications to my advantage and let them do some of the work oh thank you train I think a boss comes on this round. I don't have enough to refill. Refill. Upgrade. So I'm gonna upgrade this barrier. That's alright. Ooh, I forgot. Gotta get this. I don't know if you can hear my cat. He's meowing at me. 
It's like you've been playing this for too long. Time's up. Enemy reinforcements. Now we're coming. There we go. Tap upgraded. And we got a warden, which potentially warden. could wipe out all the fortifications. Oh really? You think you can crawl out of it? And take out these guys first. Warden marked! A warden and ass ah, dumb for me. Nice wave, asshole! Well, I mean if you're not careful. Yeah. For the most part, stay back. Let him, uh, let him kind of pick you off from uh, this. They're not too bad to kill. I just gotta make sure the si uh, sire doesn't kill me. Oh, wow, that was quick and easy. That was not bad at all. Not too bad Picking at up all. Energy. All clear. All right, so I got a little bit more energy now. Just to see nothing the fabricator at all. So I'm going to get Never another upgrade. turret for when the uh, matriarchs. I'm assuming the final uh, bosses are the matriarchs because that's what they are in experience. Whoa. Down right here. Just for now, though. We'll let the turret do its job. Okay. And there's another sire. They're coming from behind. So I'm gonna go over here. That's how I'm gonna play them. Flank us. There we go. And where'd this guy go? On my way. I can melee him, no big deal. Uh, teammate captured by the sire. Fiend. Put this one on here. Eh, it may not be the best place for it now, but I can always change it. Got some sire action going on down here. And they got him. The AI. The AI got him, don't worry. Is full. I'm gonna go get this energy. Collecting energy. Time to rebuild our shit and get ready for another Wait, round. Wait, I thought that just said Marcus for the AI, and then turn into the Kate. I'm so confused. Now we're All right, so we got 4,700. Oh, I'll go ahead, and I think I can upgrade this one. Century upgrade. Barely. But I'll put it over Sentry here. Deploy. See what happens. Actually, I probably should put it on this side, but. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get caught with my pants down. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. Come on, big boy. Now you see me, now you don't. Time for a little target practice. Oh yeah, just to let them have it. Okay, they're getting some action. I'm sure it's just enough on that side. Ah, I love them low. Ooh, take those poppers. There we go. Put the turrets in the right place, they'll just do the job for you, especially if you're an engineer. You'll get all your kills and you'll get MVPs if you put up enough and get a nice little high score going. Collecting energy. All right, let's get this energy. We have three more waves to get done. Let's see if we can get past it. Yeah, that's right. Shouldn't be a problem. Energy tap, upgrade. Uh, I may get, see if I can get one more turret. It might be too expensive. Yeah, not enough. I was going to put it on the left side, but I think it'll be alright. Yep, see they spawn on this left side over here. Uh, chuck a grenade. Get 
about half. Obviously, headshots are a lot easier. Oh my god. I gotta repair this one here soon. Okay, someone is behind us. Here we go. Yeah, melee. Melee him is the best thing to do. Because shooting, shooting that sire with uh, kind of like a meat shield can be a little difficult. If I would have uh, sprinted a little bit more, I could have went behind him did the melee, which would have been we got 30 basically to an instant kill, but that's alright. Alright, two more waves. I'm gonna get this energy again. And I think I'm just gonna upgrade. There's really no point in getting energy tap upgrade. Uh, some of this stuff. So, more stuff. And, oh, I can't upgrade that. But I should repair it. I'm gonna upgrade this one, though. Barrier upgrade! Wait, why can't I upgrade? Oh, it's because it's injured. Okay. I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna heal this real quick. And I gotta get this some more ammo. Get that one done. Get this one. On my way! Okay. Uh -oh. uh, shoot. I don't want to overextend myself. Let's see what's going on. Why are you shooting at me? Here's someone on my headphones. This seems like it's very close. Oh, here we go. Yes, two melees. Basically, just grab them. As you can imagine, this would be a little bit more difficult on the higher levels. You're getting uh, Sire's coming in at more health. Energy tap is full. I'm gonna get this last energy and see how we do with the bosses. Collecting energy. All right, let's ready to ghost. Okay. Ammo for me. I got my ultimate. I don't think I've used it at all because I <laughs> really didn't need yeah, to, right. but. Oh well. Uh, let's tap, see. Upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade one Sentry of these. Upgrade. Put them right here. So I don't know where. Our... Oops. Uh, the matriarch is gonna come. But I like to Time put it up. close to me. Oh god. Alright, let's see how I do it. There we go. My DB friend doing some work. Alright, good night. Gotta be careful. Let's see if this is already destroyed. Turret did a lot of damage. It's doing a lot of damage. Turn around. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Okay. Wait for the turret. Ah, missed the Oh, almost dead. Oh, I didn't. Okay, good. Whew. I missed my active on that one. That was pretty bad. I'm gonna go ahead and charge in. I got a couple of frags I think can do some good damage. And it's frozen. I'm not gonna throw it yet. I'm gonna wait and see where it goes. Looks like it's gonna. Oh, nope. Friend is freezing it. Double frags. Jump in too far away from my overkill. But I can blow it up from behind. 
victory on the beginner difficulty. Plain as Dell. And let's take a look at the stats. If it ever decides to load. One thing with Gears 5 right now is it's uh, not necessarily buggy, but there's some loading issues. I've had some issues with stuff not loading right or getting disconnected and stuff like that. So be aware of that when you're playing. Because I think I've had maybe two disconnects. All right, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. We'll take a look. 42,000 points on uh, Beginner. I'm feeling it. Uh, damage done, 20, uh, 255,000. So, middle of the road. 11,217 damage per minute. Yeah, as you can see, that, that's my highest one. Anyway, uh, Dell didn't really get XP at all, but that's to expect from uh, a lower difficulty. And we got three or four skill cards. Repair cools down ultimate cooldown. Or repairing reduces ultimate cooldown. Two of those. One I use. And then DB uh, recoil. And then since I got uh, the, what do you want to call it? The metal where you do the 60 rounds of horde of this um uh, mode, you get the jack-o'-lantern skins for the different weapons and scrap and supply.